top. Good Monday evening and welcome inside Holton Arena. College basketball has arrived and here in the Queen City should be a good one as the Charlotte 49ers play host to the Coppin State Eagles. Bobby Rosinski alongside Reginald Walker. And Reggie, we look at these two teams for Charlotte last year, 17 wins, most since 2013. Coppin State, meanwhile, made it to the BAC championship game, both hoping to build off last season's success at the end of the year. Yeah, both teams looking to build off that success. The first thing they've got to do, obviously, in this era of college basketball, a lot of new players, a lot of changing pieces, get that continuity, get that figured out. That starts tonight in this gym. And you look at new faces, and it's the world we live in in college athletics. So out of the five starters each side, Reggie, three transfers starting in the starting five for both of these teams. Yeah, and, and that's what always makes these early season games more intriguing. You can't really predict how good or not somebody's going to be until you see them actually get on the court and start to gel. Guys have to understand where other guys need the basketball in spots, and then that communication for team defense always a key. We look at the starting lineup for the home squad, Charlotte 49ers, Trey Gibson, who is a transfer in from Tarlington State, Jackson Threadgill, back for his third year with the 49ers, Ali Khalifa, redshirt sophomore, Conference USA freshman of the year a year ago, Igor Milicic, transfer from UVA, and Lukai Patterson, a transfer coming in from Missouri State. On the opposite side for Coppin State, you got Sam Sessoms, a transfer from Penn State after a couple great years with the Nittany Lions. Then Dunn Tark, redshirt sophomore, preseason first team in the MEAC, Cameron Brew, Alex Rojas, and Justin Winston round out the starting lineup. So our referees tonight, Joey Richardson, James Duke, and John Garnett. And we are just about ready for basketball here in Charlotte. These two teams meeting for the third time. 2005, Niners a winner, 82-65 in 2011. Charlotte also a winner by a score of 74-63. Opening tip controlled by the Eagles. And we are playing college basketball here for the 2022-23 season. Yeah, Bobby, an early start here with Charlotte defensively going man to man as you see the bucket there inside, but this is gonna be about tempo and styles between these two teams. Coppin State comes in last year. They're eighth in the country in tempo. They were first the year before that. We know Ron Sanchez, more of the slower style, coming over from Tony Bennett at UVA. Niners working it around, Threadgill, now out to Gibson. Ali Khalifa will fire a three. Doesn't go, rebound, corralled by Coppin State. And Tark bringing it up the floor for the Eagles. And Khalifa, if he starts knocking down that shot, it's going to create a lot of problems for this Coppin State team as they are definitely undersized compared to Charlotte. That's some start about the three. He'll now drive inside, tried to draw some contact. No call, but got the bucket to go. Yeah, he kept the feet solid, but the other thing playing through the contact, he's a heavier player, wide body, almost 200 pounds. Tough to knock off the spot when he gets that head down. Nice feed, Khalifa inside the thread. Gil Ali Khalifa, Reggie, one of the best passing big men you'll see in college basketball. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to make him so effective in this game, especially if he gets paint touches. They're going to have to come and help and double him. He's a great passer out of that. Winston three, top of the key, won't go. Rebound to Patterson. First defensive stop for Charlotte. Gibson, three. Rebound to Tark. And they push it quick. No call made, Niners going the other way. Two on one, Patterson. Can't get the finish, offensive rebound stays, and the bucket is good by Milicic. Yeah, good job by Milicic, staying on the offensive glass there. I thought he should have done a better job attacking the rim to help out on the drive there, didn't, but gets the offensive rebound and scores. Igor Milicic transfer from UVA. The defense by Ali Khalifa, who'll get the rebound on the missed shot from Winston. Khalifa feeding it inside, Milicic back out Khalifa. Threadgill, three. Too long, 
And the rebound it going it to Sessoms. I thought Milicic should have went up there. He's bigger, taller player inside there. Just turn around and put the ball up right over your left shoulder. Tark going inside, now feeds it off to Sessoms. He'll fire the three in front of the Niner bench, and it's good. Sam Sessoms averaged 11.6 last year at Penn State, including shooting 42% from beyond the arc. And he hits his first three here. Khalifa inside. He'll draw the contact and one of our first free throws of the season. Yeah, great position there by Khalifa inside. Doing the work early. Gets inside, gets himself to the free throw line. Khalifa, 6'11", redshirt sophomore. You see it there, just a couple of pump fakes. Unable to finish, but he gets to the free throw line. Khalifa hits the first one. We'll get our first substitutions of the game. Justin Steers checking in for Coppin State. Two substitutions for the Niners. We'll get our first look at Bryce Williams and Isaiah Folks. Bryce Williams missed all of last season with a knee injury. Tonight, his first competitive game since March of 2021. That season, he averaged 9.7 points. Yeah, everybody around this program excited to see Bryce Williams back on the floor. See what kind of spark he can provide early on. Sessoms again from the outside. That one won't go. Milicic the rebound. And Folks will bring it up for the Niners. Khalifa, there's that bounce pass to Bryce. Williams can't finish. Rojas had the rebound. Quickly the other way. Ali Khalifa not able to get the rebound. And now it's taken away. Yeah, Threadgill actually knocked that one away from behind. Nice rim attack there. Playing through the contact, no call. Pass deflected, and the Niners will take it away. Folks, one on three. Gets the finish with the left hand. Yeah, that's a good aggressive drive there by Folks. Strong finish with the left hand. You like when guys can play through contact like that. Charlotte in front for the first time at 8-7. to seven. And they're right. Trailing once again as the bucket from Sessoms. And he's off to a hot start. Seven points here in the first four and a half minutes. Williams with the flush. Welcome back to the court, Bryce Williams. Williams doing an excellent job there, working off the wing, showing that quick first step, attacking the front of the rim. Timeout on the floor. Bryce Williams with the one-hand finish. It's Charlotte up one early here in the Queen City. Charlotte early on here. 
49ers and a cop in state. Bobby Rosetsky alongside Reginald Walker. And just early on here, Reggie, some good end-to-end -end action. And uh, both teams, I think, got to be pleased with the early start. Yeah, two things you like to see in, in this game is freedom of movement. And right now, we're not seeing a whole bunch of fouls called. And then you like to see teams attacking openings going toward the rim. Both teams getting to the front of the rim doing that. Coaches obviously will say we got to do a better job staying in front of guys, but you like the aggressiveness early. Substitutions being made on both sides. For the Charlotte 49ers, getting our first look at Robert Braswell this season. Also, Josh Aldrich, transfer from USC Upstate. Mike Hood in the game for Coppin State. And Hood has the basketball being guarded by Threadgill. Steers able to get past Aldridge, draw some contact, and he'll head to the line for two. You'll see again here, tried to attack downhill, getting to the right side and gets knocked down, but get to the free throw line regardless for two, two shots. You'll see it here. There it is. It tries to come through his body. We're going to call that every time. First attempt, no good. Steers, a redshirt senior from Philadelphia. Average 5.9 last year. To take a look at head coach Juan Dixon of Coppin State. His sixth season leading the Eagles. Of course, Juan Dixon, well-known name in the college basketball world, starring for the Maryland Terrapins, all-time leading scorer for the Terps. Final Four MVP in 2002. It's his sixth season leading the Eagles. Redgill has it taken away by Tark. And he's one of the best in the country at doing it. He led the nation in steals per game last year. And Reggie gets his first one of this year. Yeah, active hands right there. Even on the on the run by, he's going to make sure he gets his hands in the position to try to make a play on the basketball. Nice closeout by Tark on that three. Sessoms, his second three. And a five-point lead for Coppin State. Sessoms is always looking to be aggressive, looking for an opportunity to put the ball up on the rim. You got to guard him basically right at half court because he's looking for a pull-up opportunity. Threadgill over to Aldrich, open three. It's good! Great job there by Aldrich, working the pick and pop game there. Steps out, squares his feet, knocks it down. Coppin State, they've made their last three shots, shooting 50%. Here are the early goings. That shot altered by Aldridge. Here come the Niners. Folks up to Bryce Williams. Threadgill. Nice rebound, Aldridge. Can't get the finish. Yeah, I think Aldridge kind of rushed that one there after the offensive rebound, trying to get that shot up on the rim. I'll tell you what, if he'd have made that, though, this place would have exploded. Up in state, they like to fire the three they led the MEAC in three-point attempts each of the last three seasons they were second in the two years prior to that under coach Dixon that three is good from Jackson Threadgill and the Niners back up one yeah Threadgill with the knockdown there and as you mentioned those three-point shots against this Coppin State team guard that line if they shoot it under 30 percent you're gonna win the game 35 plus that's usually when they win Niners two of seven from beyond the arc. Coppin State two of five. I think that two of six. Braswell the rebound off into the hands of Folks. Threadgill three. That was a heat check. <laughs> that was absolutely a heat check. It was a good shot though, very makeable for him. I don't mind that shot. Just unable to knock it down. Sessoms, he's leading the way for all scorers with 10 points right now. Two or three from beyond the arc. There he had the feed to Steers. Ball gets stuck. Jump ball and possession arrow to the 49ers. Like 
The Niners bench might have thought it was immediate timeout for a second. Uh, they're finally all back out, ready to go. Just to bar out the under 12 media timeout. If you're Coach Sanchez right now, Charlotte, you got to like the execution so far offensively as you see the charge there. So my timing bad on explaining that, but overall from an execution standpoint offensively, they've gotten a lot of the shots that they've wanted to get. 12 minutes to go as you look at the charge on Braswell. Niners up by one. Charlotte 49ers on a 6-0 run right now leading Coppin State 16-15. Head coach Juan Dixon again leading his Eagles in the huddle for Ron Sanchez on the opposite side. Fifth season for Ron Sanchez here in Charlotte 50-64 overall record. One in three in openers by the way with that one win did come a year ago when they beat Monmouth. Coppin State went eight and four in the MEAC during the COVID shortened season, winning their first regular season title since 03 04. This year, picked to finish fifth in the MEAC preseason poll. But the new addition here that we're seeing in Sam Sessoms, going to have the Eagles climbing higher. Sessoms, nice speed, good ball movement. Finds a three in the corner, and it's good. Isaiah Gross. Excellent job on the ball movement there. Everything working off Sessoms right now with this offense, and he's making good decisions with the basketball, understanding when to look for his own shot and look to get others involved. Braswell. Nice finish inside. Bobby, that's what you call exquisite footwork. Really good job with the step through there. Sessoms the turned it over and Falk with the spin move. Jimmy Gibson with the spin move finish for the Niners. Ball just slipped out of the hands of Sessoms. More exquisite footwork on the finish there for Gibson. Gibson's first point as a Niner. Now Ali Khalifa has it. And here comes Trey Gibson. Gibson feeds it off to Khalifa. Back to Gibson. Good ball movement. Three is short, but he follows his shot and gets the rebound. That's great patience by Gibson and Khalifa there to make sure they got the best look between the two guys. Ten to shoot. Braswell, three. He missed. He follows his shot and finishes. Ron Sanchez's guys must be wanting to put together a teaching tape for how you play basketball. Two consecutive shots missed, but shots follow to create opportunities. And an offensive foul called on Tark. It's his first foul. You'll see it here. Look at Bryce Williams moving his feet. 
and that's two guys, Tark and Sessoms. You've got to move your feet and stay in front of those two guys. They dip that shoulder sometimes and look to finish at the rim. You got to beat them to the spot and force those charge calls. So reaching the midway point here of this first half. Been an entertaining first 10 minutes. Back and forth we've gone. Right now the Niners on a 6-0 run. Bryce Williams feeds it to Khalifa. Out to Braswell. Good ball movement. Patterson three. Shot doesn't fall. Rebound to Titus. Quick three the other way by Blue doesn't go. If you're Charlotte right now, obviously just execute. You've been able to get what you've wanted when you've executed properly. Continue to do that. You'll get the shots you want. Braswell three from the wing. That doesn't fall. And though, Reggie, really good ball movement by the Niners. Yeah, the ball movement is there. The shot selection, I think, so far is good. Obviously not the results they wanted every time, but that'll work itself out. Sessom's going inside. Contact was made. And the foul on Charlotte. Get Braswell on that one. I guess they say he got that foot out there and maybe tripped him up. Braswell who has four points will head to the bench now with two fouls. Bryce Williams to the bench as well. Igor Milicic. And Jackson Threadgill checking back into the game. Milicic again transferred from UVA. One season there, and Ron Sanchez catches a pass from Coppin State. The Milicic season high last year was actually against Coppin State when he had 11 points for Virginia in a victory. But that's also what we see in college basketball, the movement of players, but also these coaches talk, and you know the relationship between Coach Bennett and Coach Sanchez. He let him know, hey, I got a guy here that can probably play for you. Foul on Coppin State. And this will send Patterson to the line for two. You'll see it again here. Patterson with that size. Now they've got to let him know. Talk to him and let him know what's on that baseline. And maybe he can whip that pass the other way around the other defender along the baseline and get an open look there. So got to communicate better there offensively. But good job by Patterson being strong on the turn and looking to finish. First points for Patterson as a Charlotte 49er. Redshirt sophomore from Minneapolis. Started with Missouri State. Started the final 26 games for Missouri State last year. A team that made the NIT. Average 7.4 points. We'll go one out of two from the stripe. Niners three out of four at the line. Charlotte currently on a 13-3 run over the last five and a half minutes. It's a 7-0 run over the last three. Mike Hood thought about the three. Now it's Tark going inside, feeds it back. Hood, and he hits the shot to end the run for the Niners. Yeah, that's a good job by Hood. He was seeking the basketball. He had Khalifa on him, thought he had an advantage. Khalifa made it difficult, but he still was able to knock down the jump shot. Khalifa feeds the Threadgill. And Niners whip the ball all around. Threadgill. Patterson, three. It's good. And that might be in the highlight reel for Coach Sanchez to show what you can do on offense. Absolutely. That's a teaching tape. Give up a good shot to get a better shot. You saw that consistently. And they get a wide open three. And Patterson knocks it down. That's good offense. Eagles trying to answer. Rebound goes to Patterson. Coppin State now three of nine from beyond the arc. The Niners three of 12. Threadgill wide open. It's good. And the lead is up to nine. And Charlotte doing an excellent job throughout this half. Everybody eyes up looking for the open shooter. And they've been knocking them down. Offensive rebound. Shot doesn't fall for Winston. 
Redgill's got it again. Jackson with eight points here in this first half. Right now, it's about patience. Get the, shot, the right shot. There's Khalifa. Knocks another one down. And it was the right shot, and Coach Dixon, he wants a timeout. Alton Arena for the first time this year. It is rocking as the Charlotte 49ers on a 9-0 run. There you see Khalifa knock down that three. And Charlotte 49ers with a 12-point lead. The ball movement has been great, Reggie, and it led to an open three for Patterson. Yeah, that's just one of the examples. We've seen several possessions of good ball movement, and Bobby, the result, nine players have stepped on the floor for the 49ers. Nine players have scored the basketball. That means guys are being unselfish, looking for the next guy to make sure they get the highest quality shot. Biggest lead of the game that we have seen is right now for Charlotte. Coppin State had a five-point lead earlier in this half. Had seven lead changes. But this run by Charlotte has opened up some breathing room as we inch closer to halftime. And right now, Coach Juan Dixon need, looking for his guys to execute and get a quality shot. And of course, the ball ends up in the hands of Sessoms. He's going to look to try to create. And he, and he does. Yeah. He, uh, look, he, he's a three-level scorer with an ability and a, and a willingness to pass that makes him very, very difficult to guard. You just have to plant your feet, move with him, stay in front, and make it difficult for him. Sessoms now with 12 points, five of six from the floor. Going to get a foul on Coppin State. Like Isaiah Gross. 25 on 25 crime there. <laughs> i tell you what, if you're going to move Patterson off the spot, you're going to have to hit him pretty hard. About 210, 215 pounds. That's one of those strong, what you call a strong guard. Real hard to move him off. you got to hit him pretty good. Patterson will head for a breather. Trey Gibson back in the game. Bryce Williams being guarded very tightly by Gross. And that'll pick up his second foul, both here on this possession. Yeah, his coach dapped him up after that play, but the thing I would have told him was, if you swing your arm, they're going to call the foul every time. Don't swing your arm, just be in the area, and you should be fine. Igor Milicic. It's the ball in the hands of Bryce Williams. Williams, baseline jumper. Doesn't fall, rebound to Sessoms. Yeah, I like that shot out of, out of Bryce Williams. I don't think they can guard that consistently. If he's got the explosion to get up off the floor the way he wants to, they can't stop that play. Sessoms fired the three, didn't go. Charlotte back with the basketball. Aldrich 
Lost control for a second. Now he'll feed it to Gibson. And it will go out of bounds. Turnover by the 49ers. Just their third turnover of the game. Gibson heads to the bench. Isaiah Folks back into the game. Cabin stay right now at 39% from the floor. And there is their fifth turnover. Bryce Williams with the steal for Charlotte. It's a good job by Bryce having active hands there, knocking that ball away. He wasn't even actually looking. He was trying to recover, but he gets his hands up in the passing lanes and creates the turnover. Steal back by Sessoms. Feeds it off. A lot of contact in the foul. Sutton will head to the line for two. Christian Sutton, transfer from American. Yeah, Sutton tried to clutch that. Folks came over the top and was trying to get that shot blocked, but to no avail, Sutton's gonna go to the free throw line. Just the third and fourth attempts at the strike for the Eagles. Yeah, that makes them now two for three. Football, you look at the final four minutes of the first half, second half, and I think for both coaches, you're looking at that here as we inch closer to four minutes, and right now an eight-point lead for Charlotte. Does it stay within single digits? Or is Charlotte able to extend things here? Niners gone a bit cold after a couple threes. Two and a half minutes without a point. Ali Khalifa. Trying to muscle his way in. And we'll get another foul on Coppin State. It'll be their fifth team foul. Yeah, and again, because of Ali, uh, Khalifa's ability to score, they're going to usually run a second guy at him. He's such a good passer, that's a mistake as well. Milicic, three. Shot doesn't fall. The Niner drought continuing now. Tark pushing it the other way. And we'll get another foul on Coppin State. Defense, though, tightening up for Juan Dixon's bunch. And even that foul where you talked about the, the, the hands of Gross made me a little more active, but could have been a message from Coach Dixon in that timeout to get more in the face of the Charlotte 49ers. Absolutely. You, sometimes playing defense is just about invading people's space, getting right up underneath them and making them uncomfortable. Defense is about desire and position. And if you're willing to do both of those things, you can be a good defensive team, especially if you're communicating all the way through. Was the seventh foul on Coppin State? So one and one here for the Niners. Ali Khalifa, two for two at the stripe. Conference USA Freshman of the Year a season ago. Now up to six points, and again, just. Contributing in a lot of areas, six points, three rebounds, two assists, has a block as well in 11 minutes of action. He's fun to watch because he's a big guy who has a lot of skills in terms of scoring the basketball, but he also is willing to pass and, and does it well, which makes him so much more fun to watch. Bryce Williams got the offensive rebound. Now he'll feed it to Threadgill. They find Patterson three. It's good! A four-point possession for Charlotte. Coach Sanchez has got to love how unselfish everybody on this roster is being. We talked about the difference in the new players. They're playing together like a unit right now, and that's key. Sessoms fouled as he drives inside. And that will take us to our final media timeout here of the first half. The ball movement for Charlotte continuing here in this first half. They lead by 12.
Charlotte 49ers on top of Coppin State here by 12. With 347 left in the opening half. The 49ers saw that ball movement leading to the Patterson three right before the break. Eight assists. Averaged over 14 a game last year, Reggie. And the ball movement continuing here to be impressive in this first half. Yeah, eight assists on 13 made shots. That, to me, that's one of the things I always look at when you're looking at a basketball team because that tells me how easy and how good shots you're getting based on how you're moving the basketball. You have a lot of assists. That means you're making that extra pass. Sam Sessoms will head to the free throw line. His first attempts at the charity stripe. Eagles so far three of four at the line. Make that four of five. No time to rest for Coppin State, by the way. Tomorrow night they're in action again. We'll be at Georgetown. 49ers have a week off. They won't play again until next Monday night. Maryland Eastern Shore. Another MEAC team will be here at Halton Arena. That trip to Georgetown from here tonight, not going to be an easy one. They'll get in pretty late and then have to get ready for another basketball game tomorrow night. So already this Coppin State team being tested physically. They play nine games in the month of November. That is the second most in Division I. Williams three won't go. Only Penn plays more. They have ten. Wow. Three ball, doesn't fall for Tark. And Coppin State, they like to shoot the three, but so far in this first half, not falling, just three of 11, that's 27%. Khalifa gets at the thread go. Williams, three, corner. Rebound to Hood. Williams just can't quite get a jumper to go down in this game yet, but taking good shots at Sessoms. Continue. He finishes that time with the left hand. So I'm saying, but he's such a versatile finisher around the rim, and he likes to attack downhill. So, got to stay in front of him. Can't give him clean looks at the rim. Yeah, I think that was the most impressive finish of this game so far. Threadgill answering back for the Niners. Jackson Threadgill, his third three. He's up to 11 points. Ron Sanchez said he should be the most improved player from the preseason. And you're seeing Threadgill deliver here in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, I like his stroke, Bobby, and the way he sets his feet is really good as well. Just understands how to shoot the basketball. That's why he can knock it down at a high clip. Gets his second rebound, 11 points, four assists as well for Threadgill. Patterson driving baseline, draws contact. And now he'll head to the free throw line for a one and one. Yeah, I tell you what, when Patterson decides to, to put the ball on the floor and go towards the front of the rim, if you think about making it, taking the charge, that you better, that's a business decision. Again, that young man about 210 pounds, you don't want that shoulder right in the middle of your chest. Reggie mentioned earlier, Charlotte, everyone that's played in this game, they have scored. Nine players. Threadgill, the only one in double figures right now with 11. Patterson inching closer now with eight after that free throw. Niners are five of seven at the line. And now the lead up to 13, which is the largest Charlotte has had here in the first half. Right now, if you're Charlotte, continue to communicate defensively. Can't allow that. The straight line drives. You've got to keep Sessoms away from the middle of that paint. Sessoms continuing to impress 18 points in this first half. Patterson finishes with the left hand. Great job there by Patterson attacking on that baseline and then going to the opposite hand to finish over the front of the rim. That's well done. Sessom speeds it into the corner. Blue's got a three. Sessom's the rebound. The Penn State transfer doing it all for Coppin State. And right now, he's just, nobody else has cons been consistent with helping him out. Charlotte's got to find a way to slow him down. 
Timeout taken by Charlotte. So Sassum's now with 20 points. Coppin State's 40% from the field. 12 of 30 overall. Now eight of the 12 shots have been made by Sessoms. Yeah, and Sessoms is eight of 10, Bobby, and a lot of those have been right near the rim. Layups, we mentioned the one finish with the left hand as well. He's just getting to the front of the rim, making it difficult, and it started because he hit a three early, so now they have to come out and guard that, and when you crowd him and he can put it on the floor, it, it, it makes it obviously that much more difficult to defend him because he's confident in the jump shot and you have to guard it, so now he feels comfortable going by you. Sessoms, Penn State the last two years, started his career at Binghamton, and since he's at 20, I'll mention his career high, he did it while at Binghamton, scored 40 points against Boston. That was back in December of 2019. Typical Southeast Pennsylvania guard, tough, like to attack the front of the rim, can shoot the ball as well. Just a really good basketball player. Patterson feeds it to Bryce Williams inside, follows up his own shot. That pass by Patterson to Williams was excellent. The vision was great, great cut by Williams and Sessoms again being difficult to stay in front of. Shot won't count, foul on the floor. It was Charlotte's sixth foul. Look at that pass by Patterson. He looked off everybody and dropped that off to Williams. Williams unable to finish right away, but tips in his own miss. Bryce Williams, three rebounds, two offensive. He had her offensive board after a missed free throw, which led to a three-pointer. Sessoms, a rare miss. And the Niners can now hold for the final shot of this first half. Great job there by Khalifa, not trying to crowd Sessoms, understanding he had a disadvantage from a quickness standpoint, used his link to his advantage. Patterson with 11 points. Looking for help. Feeds it, Milicic down low. And it's knocked away, and that will bring us to the end of the first 20 minutes here in Charlotte. An impressive first 20 minutes for the Niners. They lead Coppin State by 13.
Getting ready for the second half here in Charlotte. The Charlotte 49ers on top of Coppin State, 45 to 32. Bobby Rosensky alongside Reginald Walker and Reggie Story in the first half. We talked about it a lot in that first half, but for people just tuning in, the ball movement of the Charlotte 49ers, nine assists led to a lot of open looks from the outside. Yeah, and that's the way you want to play basketball is, is find open looks, give up a good shot to get a great shot, make the extra pass and make life easier on one of your teammates. And most importantly, the thing about that in this game so far, this is the first game of the season with a lot of new players. You mentioned three new starters on this Charlotte roster. When you're on the same page and willing to share the ball with such a new group, that's a good sign for the coaching staff. Yeah, for the 49ers, Jameer Young was that star the last few seasons. Young transferred out after averaging 19.6 points last year. Actually went back home playing for the Maryland Terrapins here for this upcoming season. So a question was, who's kind of going to be that guy? Well, the answer was just about everybody in the first half for Charlotte. Absolutely. Threadgill knocking down jump shots all over the place. Patterson's giving him a good spark. I like his ability not only to get to the rim, but also shoot the ball from the outside. And oh, by the way, Bobby, Bryce Williams, he's just two for seven trying to settle back in. You mentioned his first live action in a year and a half. And so if all of a sudden everybody continues kind of what they're doing as the season progresses and Bryce Williams gets back to form, you look at his basketball team and you see a lot of depth and a lot of versatility in scoring. And Bryce Williams missing all of last year with a knee injury. You have to go back to March of 2021, the last time he was playing in a competitive game for Coppin State. Look, down 13. We'll see what Sam Sessoms can do here in the second half. Sessoms with 20 points in the first half. He has the basketball right now, and the question will be, I think, two parts here, Reggie. Can he keep it going, and can anybody else step up alongside him? Well, and that's the key if you're Charlotte. Don't allow anybody else to step up. As you see, they forced the turnover on the first possession. Gibson steps up and takes the basketball away on the bounce pass from Sessoms. That is the sixth turnover by the Eagles. Khalifa three. Won't go. Rebound to Cameron Blue. And now Tark. Tark had a quiet first half, one of eight, and another turnover. Two possessions, two turnovers for Coppin State. Patterson off to Gibson, and the ball knocked away. It'll be a foul on Coppin State. And there you'll get a look at Tark. Tark preseason first team in the MEAC. Averaged 13.4 points a year ago. And this is good patience by Patterson. Threadgill was up ahead, but if he'd have thrown that pass, it could have been either a difficult catch and finish or maybe an incomplete pass and a turnover. He waits for Gibson to attack as the secondary uh, rim runner, and they get to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Gibson now with three points. That was his first free throw attempt of the night. Niners seven of nine at the line. And now eight of 10. As we see Charlotte here with their largest lead of the game at 15 points. Up in state, two possessions, two turnovers here in the first 50 plus Get seconds up. of the second Get half. Up. Winston trying to drive on Gibson. He does, and he gets the finish. Yeah, he finishes over Gibson, but that was actually a really good rotation by Charlotte defensively, just a better offensive execution to finish. Winston had the first point of this game. That's his first point since. Khalifa, position down low. Better defense by Coppin State. Yeah, Khalifa had good position there. That pass was a little low on the catch, so he had to try to come up, get down to it, and then come up, just unable to score. But they forced the turnover again defensively because they're scrambling and rotating really well. Struggles continuing for Tark. Had the open look in the corner. The ball just went through his hands. His fourth turnover of the game. Jackson Threadgill. 11 points in the first half. Gibson being double teamed, gets in the hands of Khalifa. 
Ali backing in on Blue. And had it knocked away by Blue. Nice defense. Winston comes up with it. And now Sessoms will start the offense for the Eagles. He'll drive inside. What a finish. Sam Sessoms up to 22 points. Yeah, Sessoms just attacking the rim there, knowing his team needs a bucket. He's able to go get it. Almost knocked away, and there's Tark making a play, but the ball ended up on the line. So it will stay with the 49ers. I think they missed an opportunity on that possession. Sometimes you throw it into the big guy and it comes back out. Sometimes you got to go right back in there and let them repost and, and reestablish, and maybe you can get a bucket out of it. Milicic, nice feed to Gibson, who with the finish, he's up to six points, the lead back to 15. Nice feed by Milicic, keeping his eyes up on the attack, and then nice little drop-off pass with the left hand there, Bobby. Sessoms feeds Blue, who has the dunk. Cameron Blue's first points of the night. Everything for Coppin State coming off of something that's done by Sessoms. Patterson, mid-range two is good. That's good patience there by Patterson. Looked for Aldridge there on the pick and pop. Wasn't there because both defenders went to him. Easy baseline jump shot, that's the right decision. Patterson who got the bucket on one end, now called for the foul. Tell you what, you'll see it again here. Look at that pass. Nice finish there at Sessoms again with that vision. And then on this end, now the officials trying to separate Sessoms and Patterson. They're chatting a little bit out there, but I, I tell you, I will say on that previous call there, I thought that was a little, little bit of a nickel dime call there. Sessoms almost lost it to Patterson. Oh, he falls yeah. down, gets it in the hands of Winston, and he'll get the finish. Maybe not how you draw up the play, but it ends up with two points for the Eagles. Yeah, and Coach Dixon's even still looking for a foul call. <laughs> Coaches want everything, don't they? Patterson double teamed. To the hand to Aldrich, and the foul will be called. Coach Dixon racing as far as he possibly can to argue that call. And it takes us to our first media timeout of the second half. Niners leading Coppin State by 11. Coach Dixon, after talking to the officials for the first few seconds of that timeout, 
getting his team ready to get back on the court here. Coppin State right now down 11. And Bobby, you were being generous there. He talked to the officials for half of that timeout. But what he was saying, to, to clarify, he didn't disagree with the foul that was called against his team. What he was saying to the official was, and you could see him say it clearly, hey, I need that call on the other end. I thought that was the same thing on our end with Sessoms where he went to the ground and I didn't get that call. I needed on both sides. Every coach is going to, yes. right? Like that's, that's what you do. That's your job. Yeah, you work Absolutely. to see if the next call will go in your favor. Milicic looking for help. Finally gets in the hands of Patterson. 10 to shoot here for Charlotte. Patterson swings at the front kill. That's an excellent, excellent cut by Threadgill. Realized his guy was heading towards the rim and everybody else had lifted. So he attacks from the opposite side and gets an easy finish. Tark to Winston, mid-range two, won't go. Khalifa the rebound. Good rotation by Milicic to come across and be prepared for that dive pass. Threadgill open three, it's good! Jackson Threadgill, his fourth three of the game. He's up to 16 points, the lead is up to 16 points. Threadgill threading that net all night tonight with that jump shot. Sessoms, nice speed to Tark and he'll get his second bucket of the game. Niners have hit their last four shots. Almost a steal going back the other way. But out of bounds, and it will stay with Charlotte. Substitutions on both sides. As you see Hood and Gross check into the game for Coppin State. Robert Braswell in for the 49ers. Braswell just six minutes in the first half. Gonna have four points. Ali Khalifa feeds Williams, who feeds Threadgill, but it's gonna be an offensive foul on Bryce Williams. Yeah, they tried to work that little two-man game with Bryce Williams making that backdoor cut and going baseline. You see it there, excellent rotation defensively there by Coppin State, and they forced the charge. Sometimes that call is, it, it, whatever the contact may be, sometimes the first thing the officials look for, that those feet get outside of that restricted area. If they get there, oftentimes that's an automatic charge. They look like the right call from our officials tonight. Joey Richardson, James Duke. And John Garrett. Foul on Charlotte. Tark went down, still on the ground. You see the drive here. Just gets his feet tangled up with Bryce Williams there and goes to the ground. It looks like he's going to stay in the game. He holding that left thigh. Maybe a knee in the thigh. Maybe they bang knees or something like that. That can be painful. Ready to resume. Sessoms with the basketball here for Coppin State. Now Winston working in on Khalifa and another finish inside. Justin Winston go, up to eight points. Strong finish there by Winston playing through the contact of Khalifa. Khalifa did a good job not fouling there, even though there was contact. Bryce Williams had it taken away, but it was taken away illegally. Foul on Coppin State. Got those hands in the cookie jar. It's gonna go the other way for a foul. See it again here, Williams on the 
on the catch. Now he's looking to go back maybe to Khalifa, trying to gather there, just gets hit right on the arm. Tark now with three fouls. Folks, he loses control of the basketball. Taken away by Winston. Driving in on Khalifa. Nice job, folks, coming back to knock the ball out of bounds. That's a good job by folks. It really is. You mentioned it, Bobby. A lot of times players turn the basketball over and they start watching and they get frustrated. They get the, he got back on defense and minimized an opportunity to potentially get a layup there. Sessoms, nice inbounds pass with the shot not finished by Mike Hood. Niners pushing it the other way. Braswell, and the foot on the line. Another turnover. The ninth turnover by Charlotte. Three of those coming in the last minute, 38. And that's the thing, just because you got a 12-point lead, I guarantee you, Coach Sanchez is telling his guys, we can't get sloppy with the basketball. Got to be strong with it. We got to continue to execute our offense and knock down open shots. It was a 13-point lead at halftime. Carry the ball around. Ten to shoot. Everything through Sessoms. You got to be ready to come and help and rotate if you're Charlotte. Sessoms, deep three. Nothing happening for Coppin State there. Patterson pushing it. Off to Braswell. No basket. Foul is on the floor. And we have Sessoms down for Coppin State. You can see him laying on the ground there in the back of this shot did not see what transpired looked like they were massaging it at first so maybe perhaps it's early in the season you never know but they're working on something on that right leg we'll make a substitution Cameron Blue will come back into the game Justin Steer is also going to check in for Justin Winston. Hello. Sessoms continuing to get worked on on the Coppin State bench. Hello, the game's over here. We have cleanups on two parts of the court. <laughs> Clean up on aisle six and seven, huh? And we are finally ready for basketball again. Robert Braswell off to Folks. Folks working on steers. Braswell going inside, draws the contact, and one. That's just a great individual finish there by Braswell. Working that baseline, I was just getting ready to say, they never moved the ball to the other side of the floor on that possession, but Braswell made up for that by attacking the rim and finishing with contact. Let's go, Braswell. Let's go. Robert Braswell, senior from Jacksonville, Florida, played in all 31 games last year for the Niners. Averaged 8.2 points. First three years of his career spent in the ACC at Syracuse. Steers got Aldrich in the air and a block called on Patterson. And the Coppin State bench is trying to get a uh, they're trying to get a, a goaltending call there. But Patterson thought he got over there, obviously, in time. Just a little bit late, say the officials. Coach Dixon continuing to work these officials here in the second half. 
And now steers to the free throw line. One of two at the stripe. Now two of three. Trey Gibson checking back into the game. Igor Milicic also returning to action for the Niners. Steers finished last year strong for Coppin State. Over the last 10 games, averaged 10 points at 6.6 .6 rebounds in that stretch. So far, just two points in 11 minutes of action here in the season opener. Niners have made their last five shots. And we'll get a foul on Coppin State, foul number six. Right now, if you're Coach Sanchez, you're telling your guys, we got to stay focused, go, continue to execute our offense, and then start the parade to the free throw line the last 10 minutes of this half. We'll see, and Sassum's trying to work out his leg issue. Remember, Coppin State, they play again tomorrow night, taking on Georgetown. And with this whistle, we'll take a, another timeout here in Charlotte. And back and forth here in the second half. It was a 13-point lead for the Niners at halftime. And now with 11 11.58 to go, second half in Charlotte. 49ers with a 59-45 lead on Coppin State. Bobby Rosensky alongside Reginald Walker. Niners led by 13 at halftime. Right now they've outscored Coppin State by just one here in the second half at 14 to 13. Isaiah Folks at the line. A one and one here for Folks. His first attempt from the free throw line. Offensive foul on Milicic. Not good, Ram. Not good. Niner faithful, not a fan of that call. Still no Sessoms on the court for Coppin State. Tart going inside. What a finish! Wow. Tark, who's had a slow go tonight, was one of eight in the first half. Now two for two here in the second half. Oh, excuse me, like Hood there with the finish. That was impressive. Left-handed finish through the contact. That's high level. Bilicic has to fire the three. Rebound to Coppin State. Yeah, a little out of sorts on that possession. Never really got 
comfortable and into a rhythm in that set there. Hood's pass intercepted. Here come the Niners the other way. Threadgill. All right, the bounce pass to Folks goes out of bounds. We'll stay with Charlotte, Ali Khalifa. Checking back in for the Niners. As Isaiah Folks will head to the bench. Patterson also checking back into the game. He'll replace Robert Braswell. And I would expect to see Khalifa, as you see the foul there before the inbounds, I'd expect to see Khalifa get heavy touches over the next three or four minutes of this game especially with the size advantage he has down inside and his ability to pass out of the double teams. Khalifa quickly became a fan favorite in Halton Arena last season during his freshman year. And Ron Sanchez has talked about it a lot. Just how special a player they believe Ali Khalifa can become. Free throw missed by Threadgill, so we've seen the Niners it's a couple of the first ends of a one on one and one. Mike Hood working on Khalifa. Foul on Charlotte. I thought maybe Hood had just kind of lost the basketball there. Didn't see a lot of contact. But what I was getting ready to say, if you're Khalifa in that situation, you step back off of Hood. He's one of five shooting the ball tonight. 0 for 2 from 3. You make him knock down a jump shot if you get caught in a switch. Hood inside, left hand. Draws the foul. Patterson picks up the foul. So in the first half, the offense was just get it to Sessoms and figure it out. Here in the second half, or at least since Sessoms has gone down, you see Hood, that he basically is just putting his head down and getting his feet somewhere near the paint and throwing it up near the rim, hoping he can get to the free throw line. So he's trying to either get, sc get score or get fouled, ne either of which he'll take. Patterson, that was his fourth foul. So Coach Sanchez will take him out, bring in Bryce Wilson. Bryce Williams, excuse me. I'll tell you, as aggressive as Hood is being, remember, He's got four fouls. So for a guy that is yeah. putting his head down, going to the basket, he's got to be really, really smart here down the stretch. Foul trouble picking up on both sides. Williams steps in from three and hits the two. I can't tell you in today's game how much that shot is more open for players that are willing to take it. Everybody stands at that three-point line and they'll try to run you off. If you can take that pump fake and step in, you'll get quality shots. Hood's three was short. Gibson the rebound here for the Niners. Williams being guarded by Winston, now in the hands of Threadgill. Ali Khalifa swings the pass cross court, open three. Offensive board, Braswell. And that's what's gonna happen when you go into Khalifa. He's got a size advantage in there. They have to double or he's gonna get layups. But his ability and willingness to make that pass across the court like that creates so many opportunities and they leave Braswell alone. He gets the easy putback. So you need a hockey assist for Khalifa on that one. Drive inside by Tark is good. And we're just continuing here in this second half, back and forth. Largest lead is 16. Haven't been in single digits here in the second half. Khalifa. What a pass. And Bryce Williams will now head to the free throw line. That's a really good pass by Khalifa. But you see there the cross court pass for Gibson. The miss there, but there's Braswell and Williams was there on the glass as well. But excellent job there attacking off the miss. And you mentioned Hood and the way he was attacking with four fouls. Well, he just picked up his fifth. 
So his night is done, and now freshman C.J. Scott will check into the game for the first time tonight. You still have the injury going on with Sam Sessoms, who had 20 points in the first half. And now the question you're asking if you're head coach Juan Dixon, where's the catalyst for our offense? How are we going to get quality shots? How are we going to execute? We don't have anybody out there that, at least in this game, has been exhibiting that ability to create for others. Williams goes one out of two at the stripe. Niners had missed three in a row prior to that make at the free throw line. Tark driving in on Williams and gets the finish. Yeah, it's just a tough finish. Williams, about as good a defense as you could play there. Tark just found a way to score over him. Ali Khalifa working on Winston. Goes cross court thread Gill. Williams open three. Rebound to Tark. And again, they get the shot that they want. Unable to knock it down, obviously, but keep going to Khalifa. Good things are going to happen. Sutton. Rebound Bryce Williams. Yeah, no Sessoms, no Hood. This offense is completely out of sync. Redgill's pass knocked away by Sutton. Now Winston. Right hand shot doesn't go. Gibson, nice rebound. Strong rebound by Gibson right there. And if you're Charlotte here, you don't have to go too fast. Execute your offense, get quality looks. Braswell three, quality look. Shot doesn't fall, though. Tark gets the rebound. Both sides going kind of cold right now. Tark. And preseason first team all MEAC. I think if you're Coach Dixon, you're looking for him to get going. And he tried with a deep three. But it'll be Niner basketball, 7.15 to go in Halton Arena. It's the Niners by 11. Seven fifteen to go, second half. Niners by 11. It was a back and forth game the first 10 minutes. Coppin State's last lead was at 11.49 of the opening half, led 18 to 16, and the Niners would go on a big run to go up by 12. And we have been pretty much teetering right around that number since. Now we saw Mike Hood foul out. But Reggie checking back into the game for Coppin State is their redshirt senior transfer from Penn State, Sam Sessoms. Yeah, and I'm watching Sessoms walk up the court right now, and he is, that does not look natural, we'll say, as you see him right there. It does not look natural. I, 
I think the first thing you got to do is see if he can move side to side, attack him and make him run and defend. And Coppin State in action tomorrow night against Georgetown. And the Hoyas season opener. Aldrich swings it over to Threadgill. Seven to shoot for Charlotte. Bryce Williams, three. Doesn't go, but he's fouled on the shot. And you can't. You, you, Coach Dixon just turned his back to the court. He, he, he's looking at his guys going, we can't foul three-point shooters. You see it here. There's what you just, you have to give him space to land. Gets up underneath him, gets into his legs. That's going to be a foul every time. That's Sutton's first foul. Bryce Williams hits the first free throw. Up to eight points in the game for Williams. Bobby, it's a 12-point game. And you look and you go, what, what are some of the reasons for this lead for Charlotte, right? They're up 11-2 in second chance points. Seven offensive rebounds has really helped them put up 11 points there. That's the kind of thing that, that multiple effort on the offensive end of the floor. Remember, we saw a possession earlier in the first half where Charlotte missed two jump shots, but the shooter got both of those yeah. rebounds all in one possession, and they ended up scoring on that possession. Williams up to 10 points with all three free throws. Third niner in double figures. Sessom's left hand. Might not be able to move all that well, but still gets in the stat sheet. Some guys just know how to score, Bobby, and he's one of those kind of guys. Like I said, a three-level scorer, he just finds a way. Got a little wet spot on the floor. Milicic kind of slipped near the official, so they get that out there, get that cleaned up right away. Don't want anybody to go down unnecessarily. Yeah, that was right where Bryce Williams fell a minute ago when he was fouled shooting the three. And Sessom's already being taken out of this game. So the discussion continuing. And Sessom's won the battle to check back in <laughs> at the next whistle. Are we already at the offense for defense phase of the game? So Sessom's in, Isaiah Gross checks out. And I'm sure Sessom's right, the player, wants to be out there with his guys, wants to try to find a way to win the game. But his coach has to think about more than just tonight. And he's thinking, Coach Dixon that is, I gotta make sure you're all right to play tomorrow night at Georgetown. What a turnaround shot by Bryce Williams. Yeah, and then he turned around and Gave Rojas a look like, if you think you can guard me down here, you are sadly mistaken. Winston thought about the three, now trying to drive in on Khalifa. And Khalifa wins that battle, rebound to Gibson. Ali feeds it inside, Milicic, and there's a foul before the dunk. I'll tell you, Bobby, I, I haven't seen a lot of Khalifa in person, but you love the way he moves his feet right there. Nice pass to see that. But defensively, he does a pretty good job moving his feet and understanding how to anticipate where the ball is trying to go and making it hard for those guys to get by him, even though they may be a little bit more quick than he is. Milicic hits the first free throw, up to three points in the game, has five rebounds. To go along with assist in his Niner debut, as you look at the Niner student body, enjoying this season opener as Charlotte leads by 15, as we inch closer to five minutes to play. Three by Rojas, doesn't go. What Cop we Common State just three of 18, Reggie, from beyond the arc. You read my mind. There's Williams going baseline. Bobby, you read my mind. That's why it's always good <laughs> calling the game next to you. But 
I was just getting ready to say what we haven't talked a lot about is how good Charlotte's been defensively at the three-point line tonight, making it really difficult for Coppin State to knock down shots from out there. Another three doesn't fall from Winston. The lead to 17. Largest of the night for the Niners. Milicic, open three. Banks closed at five, so that one didn't go. Tark to Rojas. It might be six now. The clock's just changed, That's right? true. <laughs> Not a fan of that either. <laughs> three by Sessoms doesn't go. Bryce Williams skying for the rebound. Looks healthy to me. Looking good in his first true game action since March of 2021. Ali Khalifa. He's got to have eyes in the back of his head the way he looks and sees the court. Williams can't get the finish. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Loose ball and a timeout taken by the Niners. 3.54 to go here in Halton Arena. The Charlotte 49ers on top of Coppin State by 17. Coach Dixon talking to his Eagles. Looks like we're seeing some substitutions here from Coppin State. And I would think right now with the 17-point advantage for the 49ers, Sam Sessom's night probably done with that injury. Trying to fight through it. But this is a team that will play tomorrow night. Georgetown has an 8.30 tip time. They'll also play on Friday night against Mount St. Mary's. That'll be the home opener for the Eagles. Braswell, three, it's good. And the lead is 20. Again, great ball movement by the Charlotte offense. Doing an excellent job giving up shots to get better shots. If you're Coach Sanchez, you go back and look at this tape, you'll be real happy about the ball movement. Foul on the floor. Will lead to a one and one. And we'll have that when we come back here to Halton Arena. Niners largest lead of the night. It's 20 here late.
20 point lead here for Charlotte. It got there thanks to this three from Robert Braswell, his first three of the game. Braswell shot 41% from three a year ago. He's now the fourth Niner in double figures in this game as Braswell's at 12. Seeing some substitutions on both sides. And a steal right off the bat. Dalen Berry, the redshirt freshman, comes in the game and gets the steal. Yeah, and that's what you want to see as, a, as you get a foul there against Coffin State, but that's what you want to see if you're Coach Sanchez. Doesn't matter when I put you in the game, what the situation is. I want to make sure that you are prepared to continue to fight on the defensive end and create stops. You see Barry, also Nick Graves, number 10, freshman from Durham. Both getting action now here late in this game. That's Coppin State. With all the games they have upcoming, Charlotte actually off for a week as they'll play next Monday night right here back inside Holton Arena against Maryland Eastern Shore. After that, the Niners head down to Myrtle Beach. 2022 Myrtle Beach Invitational. Texas A&M, Colorado, Boise State, Loyola Chicago among the teams that will be down there. Niners will play Boise State their first game. And then see how the bracket plays out. Another turnover. And it's Barry again with the basketball. Good job by Barry defensively creating turnovers and then not going too fast on the offensive end making sure they get an offense, and he finishes through a, the contact. Not a bad start for him. Two steals and a bucket. Blues three. Doesn't hit anything. Contested by Barry again. Niners take a timeout just for substitution here. Yeah, I think they want to get Gibson, obviously, and Khalifa for sure off the floor. No need for him to be out there with a 20-plus point lead in less than three minutes to play. Niners on a 15-2 run. Two different runs, the story of this game. As Reggie Coppin State had an 18-16 lead, and then Charlotte was able to grab control, go up double figures, and stayed between the 11 to 16 point mark for a long time here in the second half. But at about the seven minute mark to go here, Charlotte grabbed control. Aldrich will fire a three, that's off the iron, no good. To your point about those runs, that means Charlotte has spurtability. Let me get you a t-shirt. <laughs> coaches, but coaches want to know that their teams can surge like that because if ever you're in a ball game and you're sort of struggling to knock down shots, get down maybe five or six, you want to know that your guys can spurt and take that lead back. One and one free throw by CJ Scott is good. The freshman's first points. Robert Braswell checking out of the game for the Niners. One out of two for Scott. Graves bringing it up here for the Niners. Isaiah Folks to Aldrich. Cross court, Niners still continuing the passing. Three is good for Nick Graves. His first collegiate field goal. You got to give this offense a lot of credit. They stayed patient there, didn't rush anything, ran the offense, got a good look and knocked it down. Foul on Charlotte. You 
see again here, the ball movement ends up in Graves' hands, and he's a knockdown shooter. He may be young, but he's ready. Turned it into a perfect night for the Charlotte 49ers. Contributions all over the place. More substitutions. Gene Larson checking in, a 6'6 senior. Also Tyler Fern, sophomore. Tyler's dad, Aaron, by the way. Top assistant for Ron Sanchez. Steal for Coppin State as we enter the final minute. And a steal right back. Barry again. I don't know if Barry gets full credit as the ball kind of came out of his hands. If he does, it'd be steal number three. And it does go down for Barry. Larson steps in two, won't go. Crowd was ready to erupt if that one went in. Runner in the lane doesn't go, and a block, but a foul on Aldrich. Aldrich says, I'm not giving up anything. Doesn't matter that we're under 30 seconds to play. Coppin State in the game, shooting 41%. Those we've seen with Sam Sessoms getting shaken up here. First free throw, no good. You hear the crowd going crazy, I believe, under like eight. There's free food if your opponent misses two free throws. College students always want free food. <laughs> you don't yep. have to be a college student to enjoy free food. That's accurate. The other thing I would say, Bobby, you go on the road and you shoot three for 22 from beyond the arc, that is a recipe to end up on the uh, short side of the scoreboard. Shot clock is off. Graves with the basketball, and he'll dribble out the rest of the clock. And Reggie, an impressive opening night performance for the 49ers. Yeah, impressive performance. They showed depth. They showed a willingness to share the basketball. Great offensive execution throughout the game for this team, and then solid on the defensive end as well with their communication and moving their feet. 49ers led by Jackson Threadgill with his 16 points, four Niners in double figures as they pick up the win. For Reginald Walker, I'm Bobby Rosensky saying so long from Halton Arena where the final score is Charlotte 82, Coppin State 59. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.